Meghan eats her heart out when Princess Charlotte make huge headway to get Diana crown over Lilibet. Princess Charlotte is set to inherit several pieces from Princess Diana's jewelry collection, here's why she was selected over her cousin Lilibet Diana. A number of jewels, including the stunning Spencer tiara that Diana wore on her wedding day, might be passed down to Charlotte, 6, when she is old enough. Charlotte will get the pick of the palace jewels as her dad Prince William is second in line to the throne and she is his only daughter. Currently Diana's youngest brother Charles, 9th Earl Spencer, has the tiara, and Charlotte may have to wait until her wedding day to wear it herself. A palace source is said to have told the publication, William is quite aware the Earl has daughters of his own, but the two have agreed that Diana's iconic piece belongs to her first granddaughter. Reporter claimed that Charlotte knows about the tiara and can't wait to one day try it on. An insider said, Lotta knows all about her granny Diana Dash after all, Diana is one of her middle names. She's also seen pictures of her wearing the tiara. The Spencer tiara was in Diana's family for almost a century before she wore it on her 1981 wedding day to Prince Charles. Traditionally, royal brides wait until their wedding day before first wearing the piece. Meghan Markle borrowed a tiara from the Queen for her 2018 wedding to Prince Harry, the Queen Mary's diamond bandeau. It has now been confirmed she is wearing Queen Mary's diamond bandeau, made in 1932. The diamond tiara hasn't been seen since it was last worn by Princess Margaret in 1965. As Diana's first granddaughter, Princess Charlotte is set to inherit one of Princess Diana's most famous and iconic heirlooms, her family tiara, which she wore on her wedding day to Prince Charles. The most coveted item, the Spencer tiara, is currently being looked after by Diana's younger brother, Earl Charles Spencer, who lives at the family's Althorpe house. Speaking about the heirloom, a royal source revealed that William is close with his uncle and has asked if his mother's namesake tiara can be given to Charlotte someday. The insider continued, William is quite aware the Earl has daughters of his own, but the two have agreed that Diana's iconic piece belongs to her first granddaughter. A second insider also revealed that Charlotte is giddy with excitement over inheriting the heirloom. Lotta, sick, knows all about her granny Diana Dash after all. Diana is one of her middle names. She's also seen pictures of her wearing the tiara, the source added. Charlotte is more than aware that she's a princess, and she's already got plastic tiaras and gowns to play dress-ups in. It's very cute. The Spencer tiara was designed by Garrard in the 1930s, and was created using other pieces of jewelry that the Spencer family owned. The tiara's heart-shaped centerpiece was a wedding gift to Diana's grandmother from Lady Sarah Isabella Spencer, an aunt of the 7th Earl of Spencer. As per tradition, royal brides are usually loaned a headpiece or tiara from the Queen for their wedding day. Charlotte's mother, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, borrowed the Cartier Halo tiara from the Queen for her wedding in 2011. And Lilibet's mother Meghan Markle borrowed the Queen Mary Bando tiara for her wedding to Prince Harry in 2018. But, for her nuptials to the Queen's eldest son, the Prince of Wales, Diana decided to wear one of her own family heirlooms, the Spencer tiara. The item is a prized possession for the Spencer family, and both of Diana's sisters, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Lady Jane Fellows, wore the heirloom at their own weddings too. As well as the coveted Spencer tiara, Princess Charlotte is expected to inherit some of the Queen's priceless crown jewels. Royal Insider even predicted that the six-year-old will receive the Vladimir tiara that holds emeralds from the Queen's grandmother, Queen Mary, which is worth in the region of £10 million. Princess Charlotte, 6, and Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, 4 months are the late Princess Diana's only granddaughters, so it seems only fair they would inherit some jewellery from the beloved Diana's collection. The two little girls have never met, but already the family heirlooms are being allocated for the young royals to treasure as they grow up. Allocated for the young royals.